What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. And who will rise to the top on Wednesday afternoon at Liz Fernandez Field in Mayfair Park? Well, winner of the Moore League, that's who. Undefeated Lakewood taking on the Millican Rams as senior Casey Makeupson and Millican try to win their first Moore League title in eight years, while Jessica Scroggins and the Lancers just trying to make sure tradition doesn't graduate, trying to win back-to-back -back Moore League titles with a strong senior class, including senior hurler Erica Robles in the circle today. Senior pitching to a senior, and a senior in center field ends it. That's how the top of the first ends. Let go. And if anybody knows how to start things off, it's Scroggins. I mean, there it be. She's so fast. She says lead off triple. Woo! I mean, it's so much fun to watch this kid wheel around the bases. Get over there, dust yourself off like you just took third. Credit to sophomore Brela Liberty, though. She bowed her neck after that lead off triple and gets not one, but back to back strikeouts. She also gets Anissa Cepeda to pop this up with two outs, but it's headed for the Bermuda Triangle where cans of corn get lost. Lakewood goes up 1-0 at the end of the first. We go to the top of the second. Lancers kind of give the Rams their own answer. Ramos with a walk. She's sacrificed over while pitch puts her to third. And the junior Natalie Alvarez knows what's needed. That is plenty deep for Ramos to tag up. She's going to get dirty too. And it's 1-1 at the end of the second. Back to Robles using all of the senior veteran tricks she's picked up along the way working deep in counts, let the defense pick her up. She was deceiving, just throwing at bats, letting the Rams get themselves out. No hits for Milliken through six innings. La Liberty was also very effective and also got a little help from her friends, Sarah Foster. Oh, that's a top play nominee. That's gonna end the fifth inning, but Lake was threatening again in the sixth. Ari Burns up there, the sophomore, gonna lead it off with a walk. Kylie Lundberg, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need you to come in the sack bunch. Thanks. With two outs, still at second, fellow sophomore Montana Dixon up, and on this 1-0 pitch, she's sitting dead red, and that's good for a Lakewood Lancer. All the way to the fence. Burns gonna score easily. Dixon, the catcher, gonna get on her horse and get all the way over to third. Go ahead, run the super sophomores. Clap for your Lancer when you're scoring runs. Like I said, tradition never graduates. Those sophomores are gonna be fun to watch as they grow up. In comes the insurance firm, Lexi and Rother. Senior gonna drive in another dying quail RBI for Lakewood to take a 3-1 lead. Robles in there trying to finish off the no-hitter in the seventh with one out, it's Rob. Oh, I keep jinxing these kids. Angelique Ramos with the no-hitter breakup with one out in the seventh, a double. Robles obviously trying to stay calm after losing the no-no because the time runs at the plate after a fielder's choice though with two outs to right field. Burns, excellent. The diving catch from Ari, winner, winner, more league championship dinner. At this point, they're just a reservation every year. Lakewood Lancers, winners of seven of the last more league titles and they are cruising as they head into the CIF Division II playoffs. Rams gonna finish second for the first time in a long time. They too will be in that playoff bracket, which will be released on Monday. For that live announcement and everything local sports, you stay right here.